Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Views from the Vault, Milestone episode 150 starts right now. Jason Leon Pierre in the house with our moderator, uh, Jose. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. Uh, we'll be starting in a couple minutes. Let us know you're here in the comments. Drop a like on the video. For now, enjoy this beat by Paco. Episode 150, as Snap would say, halfway to two what a big deal, right? 50. 150 weeks, man. It's not like a hundred, it's not just 150 shows, it's representative of 150 weeks. Three years. Jesus. Three years. Why don't we post these in our stories today, guys? Are you you guys okay? Help me out with that. Um, I'll be right back. Because yep. for some reason. Oh, his Wi-Fi. It looks like Mexi's Wi-Fi is weird. We're going up against the uh, NBA playoffs, but if you're out there, stay with us. Who's on, who's playing tonight? The Nick, uh, the Knicks, and Heat are in the uh, middle no of a battle no. right now, and then Lakers. Oh, Lakers! Yeah, Lakers Warriors tonight, and then the Celtics. We're going to close out the Sixers on Sunday. They better, man. Oh, I bet you I have a bold prediction here. I think Tatum and Brown both go for 30-plus on Sunday. That stupid game one. Like, mm-hmm. They should have won that game. They should have won that game. They should have won that game. And Glose, there will be a vlog coming out. For the uh, opening, we're just waiting for it to get edited. You guys are gonna love it too, man. You guys are gonna love it. So if you weren't there, you're gonna feel like you were there. Sorry about that. Morris, welcome back, Maxi. I got to uh, copy this link. Leon, did you put in the stories? I don't know if Leon can hear me. Leon, you're muted, buddy. Yeah, I just posted it. Right. Posted in the stories. We are back. Had a great day at the store today. It was fun being out there today. I saw it. Mexi was there. A lot of people were there today, actually. You guys know the... um. The YouTuber, the Latvian, I forgot what his name is. Mm, yeah, yeah. His son, he sent his son in. And his son bought a bunch of hats for him. That's funny. You know, it was awesome because the dude said, his son was like, hey, listen, man, my dad started his channel because of you guys. He started nice. collecting hats and started his channel because of you guys. That's awesome. We got to get him on. He's got a very strong uh, Latvian accent, though. I, I was FaceTiming him today. Oh, yeah? In the store, yeah. We were going through the wall and showing off some hats. That's awesome. It can't be any worse than your strong Canadian accent, Jim, Leon. Mm. Fair enough. Fair, fair, fair. Say it's probably accurate. But, man, so many people that I've gotten to interact with inside the store has been great. It's been great. All right, we can start that countdown, Leon. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's the views from the vault, live and direct, and it slaps the finest affinity community built on caps. Sponsored in part by the best in the business. No suggestions of fittings or classics and vintage. New era sickness, fire in the mix, it's ridiculous. It ain't no secret to the dopeness. If you're not focused, you left hopeless. Speaking the science of drops and what's tops. Pierre, Leon, Jason from the vault. bringing you nothing but hot. Best of the best, exclusives and clean vision. It's a distinct mission in the embroidered thread of a system. To bring you nothing but the real, just link and get with it. All keepers, no sleepers, no weepers, you know what it is. BP merch work the sequence first, bringing the work with the fits. It's the moment you've been waiting for. It's dubs and somersaults. Welcome to a whole nother level of fitted. It's views from the vault. Welcome to the vault, everyone. This is episode 150 this week in caps. Uh, we are back after a one-week hiatus. Jason Leon and Pierre. 
joined by our moderator, Jose. Hope you guys enjoy. Pierre, take it away. Man, it's good to be back. I think I've been gone for two weeks, right? I don't even know, man. <laughs> Might even be three. Yeah, you weren't yeah, you weren't here on our last show. It's been a while since I've been on the show, I think, but now um I'm here. I'm back. I'm excited here. I'm not sure what this uh, Archie Lee comment means. I don't think it's a bad comment, but I'm I trying... don't think so either. I don't know Carlito. I'm trying, to dis- I'm trying to decipher it. Yeah. Maybe someone can help us. Yeah. You guys are no different than them motherfuckers from Carlito's way when he was trying <laughs> to get out of his club, and you and Pierre are the guys that were watching him look for an exit from the second floor. I'm not sure what that means, but or what it's even referring to. But what? Well, thanks for watching, Archie. <laughs> so either way, Archie, I know Archie's a positive guy, so it's got to mm-hmm. be something good. So right. Um, all right. So I had a three week hiatus. Uh, people are keeping track. So mm-hmm. listen, why don't we start by showing off our hats this evening? You guys ready to do that? You sure. Bet. Let's cool. do it. So uh, why don't we start with you, Mexi, then go Leon, Jason, then myself. Cool. This is a uh, in-hand look at tomorrow's Giants uh, dropping at uh, Brooklyn Caps. Vegas gold crown, uh, black top visor. Great you be. Nice. And, and your hair looks like uh, you look like a dirty Q-tip today. Look at that thing. I just got out the shower. I wanted to be uh, nice and clean for episode 150. That is uh, that is that is puffy and beautiful. All right. Uh, Leon, what do you got there, bud? Uh, we got some toppers. Um, I finally got a chance to empty out uh, your, your side room there of all of my hats. So I will be um, rocking new stuff for the next little while. Got a lot of hats to wear. All right. Jason Mead. Yeah, we got, got, we got the, uh, the f- I guess, Justin Prem edition yeah. of the Yard Goats and our uh, goat pack. Got the pink bottom, the hockey logo, uh, all-star game side patch. A little teaser, right? The next goat that's going to drop, um, that's landing soon at uh at the uh at the warehouse is the Ty Mathis. Mm-hmm. So you guys are gonna get a look at the Ty Mathis pretty soon. But um listen I told everyone the, the yard goat was gonna be it and it's starting to happen now. Mm-hmm. My hat is a upcoming topper select. So this one is a uh Roberto Clemente and this is Puerto Rican flag inspired and we went satin all the way around. And on the brim, so you've got that scarlet red satin, that dark royal brim, and boy, oh boy, gray undervisor. This one will be uh, dropping prior to the New York City Puerto Rican parade that usually takes place in June. So those are the hats. Now let's get into everybody else's hats. You guys ready to get started here? You betcha. And for everybody wondering where Snap is, he got called away uh, to do a, a porn video um tape a porn video they only do those late at night so that's where he's at Snap yeah. Cleveland. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. all right you guys ready you guys ready to ready to get moving here oh uh, i guess mm-hmm. that's that, that's my cue that's isn't your it cue. <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm a little out of practice hey listen i am too man i feel like I, I feel like i forgot what to do here but i think i'll get back into it so uh for you caps our brother in the Bronx, as these uh, six hats that dropped uh, this pack past week. Uh, that Georgetown uh, Hoya being the standout for me, but still some uh, heat here nonetheless. Uh, I can do without the glizzy. But uh, Jason Mead, what's your favorite hat in this slide? Oh, the glizzy. Yeah, I the glizzy. Up. You put a glizzy on a hat, I'm all over it. Who doesn't want Man. a wiener on their hat? Let me tell you something right now. You know, every time we go on a views in the vault, and we have to do that again. I want to be clear here. We got to do another views in the vault uh, trip, and I'm going to save up the next uh, three months of uh, of um, of views in the vault revenue, and we're going to take another trip here. But uh, glizzies are always in order. Uh, mm-hmm. How about you, Leon? You liking anything here? Uh, I I like the Hoyas. Um, I want to like the 45s. It's like a almost like a North Carolina colorway. I, I I'm confused about the patch though. Mm. And then uh, the Tigers in, in the Wolverines colors. I mean, we've seen it a million times, but that's okay, I guess. Aesthetically, the 45s hat looks nice with that patch, aesthetically. Sure. 
It's just, you know, it just it, it, there's oh. a lot of choices there for the 45s, right? I if mean, if you weren't if you weren't a baseball fan at all, it's a nice looking hat. Yeah, if you saw that, you'd be like, all right, this is a good looking mm-hmm. hat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, for sure. So why don't we head up to Connecticut to 95 North? All right, 95 North had this pack drop, and these look like they were community created hats, I believe. I, I, I think, think so. Yeah. I think F5 and I think uh, Kenny Lou had some uh, input on these. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, listen, I gotta I gotta be honest with you. 95 North has been putting out some pretty good stuff. They have a really good community base there right now. Um, really, uh, really doing great stuff over there. Um, anything stand out here to you, Maxi? Yeah, that Chicago script. Such a clean, um, clean two tone. Thank you, Joe R. Thank oh. you, Joe. And Joe R. One thing I will, I will, I will say is, um, Jason and Pat don't know this yet, but I'm squirreling away one select hat from each select um, drop, and we're going to be creating a wall of select hats on the museum side of the store, which I think is going to look amazing when it's done. Um, but I want to wait until we have enough to fill the wall. Um, I'll allow it. Yeah, but there's going to be so much cool stuff coming. But again, 95 North doing some good stuff. So that stands out to you, Maxi. How about you, uh, Leon? Anything here stand out to you? I mean, they're all solid. There's nothing really like too bad out here. Um, the real tree Phillies is real cool. The Chicago script's always nice. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't say there's nothing really bad out there. Mm. Yeah, no, they're, they're they're good. Kenny Lou, that's like a Capone Noriega. That's a War Report, another mm-hmm. addition to it, and that looks good too. That's a good looking hat. Mm-hmm. Kenny Lou does some good stuff. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Ryan T, for joining the Vault Club, and thank you, John, as well for. Uh, jo- I'm sorry, Joe R, as well for uh, donating. I appreciate that, mm-hmm. Joe. Um, we always do. And with that, gentlemen, let's move north of the border to Anthem Shop. All right, Anthem Shop had these three caps drop. I've got to tell you, I kind of like the Montreal. Leon, you love candied apples. <laughs> um, is that your favorite on the slide? Um, favorite on the slide? It might have to go to the the St. Louis. Mm. I think uh, the white so the white bad. brim is scaring me. If I were to eat candy apples, I would not want my brim to be white. What's wrong with those candy apples? Why are they all red? Shouldn't it be like caramel color? It depends on what you yeah. do. Like you can candying an apple doesn't have to be always caramel. It could be oh, a yeah. sugary, clear substance. There's all kinds of different things you can do. Yeah, it's candied like, apples. Somebody's glazing those apples. Oh yeah, Leon looks like he's yeah. look at Leon's mouth watering. He's no, like, oh, yeah. for your teeth, dangerous for your teeth. Look at that shit. You can lose, you can lose a tooth like that. What's your favorite hat here, uh, Jason? Uh, I agree with Leon. I'm going to go traipsing through the forest with that uh, St. Louis hat. Yeah. The Montreal, if it was a gray under, would be a very, very solid hat to me. Isn't it gray? Dang no, it's, it's white, right? No, the under oh, no, is gray. It's gray. Oh, I'm yeah. okay with that. I like that. I like white brims. Thank you, Archie Lee. Thank you, Archie. Archie, thank you for teaching us about Carlito's way. For mm-hmm. the positive comment and then dropping 10 bucks into the uh, Views in the Vault bucket. Mm-hmm. We appreciate it. As we move on to Big City out in Houston. All right. Mm-hmm. So you got a question there, Maxi. We might have to just rewind. Down yeah, here. this is uh, tomorrow's Brooklyn Caps drop. What are you guys thinking here? Anything stand out to you? I like that uh, one on the bottom left, the black and red two-tone. Do you guys like the Astros logo on the right? It's not bad. When it's done right. There's nothing really like, wrong with it, I wouldn't say. I you gotta do, is there an outline on that logo? Yeah, it's tonal on these two. I think they made yeah, it. Yeah, see, that's where I think they might have missed there. <laughs> right. I like the hats, but I think like I think they're missing because they didn't do something with that outline. Is a metallic gold under on the right, bottom right? That's interesting. All right, let's address this comment here. What is it? There's a question there. Uh, no, they don't release online. And the reason we show them is because if we don't, then we get a thousand more comments like this of why don't you show, why do you only show online stuff? So, yeah, it's it's a lose lose for us either way. So, it's more hats. We're going to show them. 
And Mo, we also want to be able to show the topper store in store drop. Right. Yeah. Store, <laughs> <it's> critical. <laughs> but in all so honesty, we've been like, setting I, that president for a while. I do get it, Mo. I do get it. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I do understand the sentiment, but um, we certainly want to show as many as we can, especially on a light week. Mm-hmm. This week's a little bit light, so we figured we'd show off a few extra hats. And Jason mm-hmm. did a great job sliding these together. Um, great job, Big City. I love those guys. They oftentimes um, share some of their work with me, and I appreciate that as we move on to Brooklyn Cap. And Jason, the, uh, the store uh, name is right on the side of the – so if you see a hat you like. Look to the right. That's where the store is. Just so I'm clear, what kind of camouflage is on that Oriole? The so Orioles is, is real tree. Real tree, right? Yeah. Which the bison's, remind me to never use that. Yeah. Ever. And then the, the bison's next to it is real tree edge. Yes. The real tree. No, real tree edge. I understand. I know. But yeah. that other one just, that's the regular real tree. That's regular real tree. Yeah. I believe it's called real tree original. We will never use Real Tree Original at Topper Store USA because that looks like shit. Challenge accepted. <laughs> That's bad, I right? Mind. I don't mind that that camo. I don't like that at all. I don't know. You like that? I mean, I suppose with the with the right colors, it might be okay. Mm. I'm I'm not gonna say like I like it. I like it. I don't mind it. It's different. I'm not gonna do the whole suit. The whole camo suit. It really depends what type of trees you're hanging out in. uh, (laughs) Because, you know, what camo you're going to want on. Thank you, Hezzy. Thank you, Hezzy. He just just wanted us to say his name. That's all. Mm -hmm. He loves to hear me say his name. (laughs) Oh. Um, There's a lot of Astros here. What's going on? The Well, the 45 at the bottom left, that was a Cougs. Um, I think he was a... a No, no, no. That I like. It's a Concord hook, it looks like. Yeah, yeah. Jordan Eleven. Well, not gonna lie, the one on the top right looks uh, top right looks awfully familiar. I don't know why. It really, really does. I don't know where I've seen that before. I, I can't put my finger on it. Mm-mm. Mm. I think I'd like it better with a gray bottom, though. Maybe. No, I think I like it better on our shelf. Let's move to Cap USA Harlem. <laughs> <laughs> um, we got we're getting a lot of donations here. We're uh, no, oh we really, my god! Shout out to really Klein. We really appreciate the donations, everybody. It'll help because we don't have as many views on the channel this month. This is definitely <laughs> helping us get our right. long trip money. And, yeah. and King of Crowns, thanks for thanks for all the videos you posted. Of our oh job. yeah, yeah. I got a chance to uh, to he came by again, and and I got a chance to hang out with him a little bit. Love the guy, King of Crowns. Really loved having you in the store. Hope to see you again. Um, and uh, this is probably one of the weirdest uh, <laughs> slides I've ever seen in my life. It's like got a little I, dice in the upper left hand corner. We got I don't know, two other hats here. Um, this is what I had to work with. No, um, that's okay. Uh, I actually don't mind that bison's isn't bothering me. The Seattle is though. The bison's is hooked to a Air Jordan 2 shoe coming out pretty soon. Hmm. The okay. Jordan 2s, yeah. man, have really like. Blech. I yeah. like Jordan twos, man, but I love they're them. not doing too well. Oh, they almost Klein, made Jordan leave. Klein, thank you for the reels you've done too. Sorry. I mean... Oh, what happened? Uh, we mentioned King of Crowns videos, and then he's like, Klein felt bad. So, thank oh, you, Blink and Brims, for your reels. Anybody who's who's present creating content, we appreciate you, Jason. Yeah. You're gonna hate me for this, but I gotta be honest with you. Mm-hmm. I think I'm fucking over the block S. You could be over the block S. I think I'm over. I, I can't. Mm-hmm. I think you said that. Uh, we said that last show Wednesday. Um, I, well, on Wednesday, yeah. Yeah, you said that already. I'm getting fucking tired of the block S. There's not a lot of patches that can go with it, though, right? There's only maybe like four uh, or five. There's, no, there's five. Yeah, four or five. At least. I mean, when, when you own like a hundred of them, like you do, that's not like a lot of patches. Yeah. No, that's no. Mm. What's what's this Yankees hat? This is just kind of like gray with gold. Not bad. It's not a bad looking hat at all. Mm-mm. Just wasn't sure if there was anything behind it. You guys have any ideas? Uh, no. Just no. a good looking hat, I guess. Yeah, they mm-hmm. didn't post anything about that one. Yeah. All right. Well. 
Nice job, Cap USA Harlem. Let's move on to our good friends over at Capanova. Hmm. Kiantra, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are these side patches you try to play yeah, with man. here? It's I mean, tough, right? Because they don't got the good side patches. They're all stuck in yeah. like hardwood classics. If you force the side patch on, it's kind of ruins the hat a little. Nah, man. The only one I, I no, man. I mean, the good thing about the six-time champion patch on the Bulls is that one's going to be safe for a while. <laughs> You'll be able to wear that for a few years, you know, quite a few years before Listen, it gets outdated. You know, you know that whole thing that, that your parents taught you: if you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. <laughs> I'm going to say that. I, I'm going to. I leverage that only with my friends, and Keontra's my friend. So we're going to move on to Kaplan. Okay. All right. Okay. Man. Okay, so. Spamming the WBC, which I don't mind. No, no we did too. Did good looking. We did a lot of DRs and PRs. I, I see one. I see one that looks familiar. Yeah, that Chrome one is the exact one we did. Yeah, they're nice looking though. I actually ours is yeah, ours is a little different, but a little different. But these yeah. are good. These are yeah. good hats, man. The word yeah, marks. Really like the... The, what do you guys think about the word marks? The Mexico one? The I like one it. or the Mexico one? The Mexico ones. I kind of like it. I okay, love it. I do too. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I mean, it's no Canada, Leon, but... No. no. <laughs> the Canada... Uh, if they used that word mark from the jersey, they'd be in trouble, man. That was a terrible... Oh, thank you, Mojo. Mojo, Mojo. thank you so much. Really? Mojo? A dollar <laughs> <laughs> It's interesting, like the... I gotta be honest with you, I... I don't know. I don't know. I want to say this the right way. I am not like the most patriotic guy. Okay. I'm not like, I'm not like America the beautiful. I love, I, you know, I'm happy where I'm at. The older I get, the less patriotic I get, which is, I think, the opposite of a lot of people. Old people get patriotic, right? The older, the most, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, it's usually old people wearing like a sleeveless shirt with like, you know, a, the American flag on it. Drinking their Budweiser. <laughs> I'm certainly. I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. That's fair. This is an interesting sort of departure from the norm for Kaplan. It's usually you know, twenty Padres, mm -hmm. ten of which have been stolen. This is more <laughs> just World Baseball Classic and three Padres hats. Yeah, uh, the much? bottom right Padres was uh, put together by a friend of the show. Uh, hesitation. He did a really good job with that hat. That looks good. Mm -hmm. That's a good, good hat. A shoe hook, I believe. What's your favorite Puerto Rico hat here? I kind of like the – you see the ones next to the red and blue two-tone? I like that the, one. The light bronze one? Yeah, yeah, I like that one too. Yeah. The most Puerto Rico one is the is the off-white. Yeah. But the, the two or the, the one middle. on the right too. Yeah. That's pretty Puerto Rico. That's true. But the ones can in I the middle are different enough. You know? Can I show a comment? Can you proportion the screen right so I can show a comment? Yep. This is 100% what it is. 100%. <laughs> I, I think the more I see politicians and all and, and the, the inner workings of the United States, the more it pisses me off. I think this is 100% right. 100% right. Because any – I just – I hate politicians. That's my problem. Yeah. And we don't really right. talk – we don't really talk politics, but like a lot of that stuff makes it hard to be politics patriotic. ruins friendships. That's why yeah. I would stay away from. Yeah. Well, I'm still gonna say I, I'm not as patriotic as as most. Right. Just right. I when I have listen when I see Dominicans and Puerto Ricans, how fucking patriotic they are. I oh, love yeah. it. I wish yeah. I could. I wish I could be the same way. Like they're so patriotic, and it's something I really respect. I just can't be that way. You know. All right, let's move on to capsule hats. Listen, I got that Red Sox one in, and I know you don't like metallic brims, Jason, but you, you did say that these look good on the mm -hmm. Wednesday show. That Red Sox hat, and I'm sure the others are fantastic. That Phillies, I want to get that Phillies. I don't know if it's still sitting on the site, but I want to get that Phillies. The Phillies probably is, just because the patch is probably holding it back a little bit. I could probably just check the store, too. He could probably do that. 
What do you guys like in here, Jason? What do you like here? Dude, I don't I, like. Don't like. I don't like that fucking Yankees hat. Top right. You're talking uh, about yeah. it all. Um, I've said it before, and I'll keep saying it. That vintage uh, colorway they do, that black and brown two tone. I'm a big fan of that. So uh, that Baltimore is right up there for me. I like that Baltimore for sure. Mm-hmm. I like it. I, like I think it that's. What, that's. I think that's one of my favorite colorways they've ever done. So can I just do a just pause here for a minute? I want to see how many likes we have here, guys. We have like 160 people in here. We've only got 67 likes. Let's hit that like button. Let's get back into these great routines that we've built over the last three years. Hit that like button, everybody, and continue to comment. We uh, love to hear from you. And Leon W. Chen, what do you like in here? I'm with you. I like the the Boston. Um, I like the Chicago. Um. They got like a little, uh, almost like a Olympic feel to it, like a gold medal type pack kind of colorway. So, okay, yeah, okay. How about you, Maxi? What's the what's the favorite hat on here for you? Um, I do like the two tone Yankees, not the word mark. The I'm a sucker for that older fat Yankee logo. Hmm. Yeah. All right. It's a good drop, man. This is a good drop. Specifically, I like the metallics, though. All right, let's move on to Clark Street out in Chicago. All right, let's move to Clink Room. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. Oh, oh, uh, Leon, Leon, hold on. Have you done your Clink Room homework? Of course. Of course. It's the okay. highlight of my week. Um, I bet it is. I bet whoa, it is. Whoa, whoa, we, right. we gotta come we gotta come back and visit that statement. Yeah. Like count at 150. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, viewer count at 154. Let's right. see the like count. Like count is at 88. So one right. it's already lost four viewers. Yeah. Like count is at 88. So let's see what Leon can do here, everybody. 154 yeah. and 88. Let's see. Let's see if we could save the the custom hats um june 11th you have time on t- to get your pre-order in until june 11th with an estimated delivery of uh november um we will start with blaze um wind studio out of uh, bellingham washington did a uh, lion um style hat daisy cutters uh 40 swords he's drawing inspiration from classic world war ii nose art um that's pretty cool uh double header by Page Perception um, is making reference to um, two baseball games in one day. If you guys don't know what doubleheader is, he has a little, uh, he has, a, he hid a little bit of eye black on the sun and then he made the moon look tired. I thought that was a cool little touch. A fresh pack um, by Clinker J. J. Matz. He's uh, uh, referencing the old bubblegum you used to get in those wax uh, baseball cards. I like that. I, I like that one a lot. Yeah, the worst bubble gum ever. Yeah, don't the worst don't bubble gum ever. That. It used to like stain the baseball card that was next to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One and year, the, one time I got a 1985 Mark McGuire USA team rookie card, and it was stuck right to the gum. <laughs> the motherfucker, and the man. flavor runs out. In the As a baseball card collector, when I was a kid, I knew that was a problem. Yeah, the big yeah. gum stain right in the back of the card. Uh, last roar is done by Hat Beast Indo. Um, this is a they use the tiger in uh, Indonesia. The tiger represents leadership, culture, and power. Leon, uh, bad news so far. We've lost 14 viewers and oh, we've dude. gained what we've gained 12 <laughs> likes. 12 <laughs> likes, okay. All right, all right, not too bad. Uh, tigers have three subspecies in Indonesia, just so you know. Um, mm. and then the last one, Titan Clash. Um, this is done by our good friend Brad and Maisie. Um, it's like a little, um, well, a big like whale battling a Poseidon. So it looks like a squid or a crack. Or yeah, squid. That is all dude. I, I don't know about you guys. That seems like too much going on in one logo on a hat. That's a lot. And going that on. and the it's too dark on that dark crown. Yeah, I like I like um double header a lot. Yep. Uh, I think Blaze. Really cool. I like double header. I wish the UV was gray Not or green yeah. or something. Not yellow. Mm. And then uh, Blaze is pretty good. I like Blaze. All right. Final count, Leon. You lost 15 viewers. And uh, let's see. here. No, I'm sorry. 17. And uh, you gained, though. You gained 15 likes, buddy. Okay. So net two loss. Okay. Net two loss. 
I'd give, but I will give you today, Leon. You didn't bring the same intensity you usually do, but you're no. still well informed. I give you a B. All right, I'm giving you a C. Okay. <laughs> no, nah, he's not average. That was C, C average. for C for Canada. C for Canada. All right. I, I don't know, Maxie. What do you give Leon for a grade? Uh, I'm an easy grader, so I'd give him an A. Perfect. <laughs> That's the only professional opinion I trust. <laughs> I am a <laughs> licensed certified teacher, so we're You're licensed to give out grades. I like it. I yeah. give you a P for poutine. Let's move on to Cool J. <laughs> All right, Cool J's, believe it I or not, of the week came with uh, Real Tree Edge pack. These are good, man. I mean, I think I think the Diamondbacks is the weakest of the three. Yeah. I didn't realize it was metallic green. I kind of like that. You like the metallic green? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's like you're trying to hide, but not. <laughs> right. <laughs> you're like trying to hide, but like you still like you're like you're like one of these people that kind of like wants attention, but doesn't want to say you want attention. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That Florida one to me, I know Jason, your favorite is the Cardinals, right? But yeah. the Florida one is the one I like the best for some reason. Yeah. Cardinals um, is the winner. I just like the way the the, the logos are um, color blocked. I, I gotta say though, uh, uh, working the line uh, for you guys on the weekend, I noticed that a lot of people are actually wearing the real tree, which is really interesting. I saw some real tree Crocs, some real tree uh, hoodies and t shirts. Like, I saw we saw two dudes that were fucking draped in real tree. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, I, did, I, I didn't. Vests. I didn't see them until somebody pointed them out because they were in. They were wearing flash. fishing vests. Yeah, they, they were, were wearing Stone Island shirts, fishing vests, socks, yeah. shorts, and they had the Crocs. The, Insane, the real tree Crocs. The funniest Those part was they were hesitating right, about getting that Texas Rangers hat. <laughs> yeah, those guys were. Um, they got the whole fit going. Those guys weren't fucking around, man. No. Mm-mm. They weren't fucking around when they said, "All right," they said, "We're going full real tree today." And they, mm-hmm. I mean, listen, they screamed real tree edge. Yeah, you think they've ever been hunting though? No, no way. Nah, man, those dudes, they were wearing like stone not for an- island, not for animals. Hold on, no. they were wearing Stone Island, yeah, stone real island. tree edge vests. Right. So those things must have put them back four hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I think I think the vest was Stone Island, but the t shirt was was real tree. I don't awesome. remember, man. Whatever yeah. the fuck it was, man. There was some. There was some Stone Island in there. No, <laughs> was I believe they were fishing. I don't know about hunting. TJ said they just fell off the fishing boat. They were both four foot ten. <laughs> they were not tall. No, they were good they dudes, though. I gotta tall. tell you that right now. They were good dudes. They were real nice. Yeah, they're cool. All right, let's move on to our friends over at Crown Legends in Boston. Oh, uh, finally, head. a Padres hat I like. Yeah, and that's a good Padres hat. It is. Leon, do you approve of that Jays word mark? Yeah, yeah. It's not bad. What the um, fuck? What does they, it they, take for you to say yes? No, yeah, I do. I do approve of it because they wore gray in their alternates as a gray hat. It's it's the jersey script. It's a cool combo. The era is, a, is appropriate. It's a good hat. You know what, Leon? I gotta say this out loud. Are you ready? Sure. I don't like your fucking attitude. <laughs> like, okay. like I'm not sure. Like, I don't understand what could be better about this hat. He doesn't like gray. Remember that. But that's the jersey. That's the color of their jerseys. Then, right? Like, I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's a good hat. It's a good hat. I'm not like. I have like 300 Blue Jay hats. So I'm not going to get like, oh my God, Blue Jays. Yeah. But it's a good hat. Well, maybe you should, Leon. Leon, maybe can you, you proportion the screen right for a comment, please? Uh, yeah, you're good. Carl, you are the exact reason why I won't make fun of West Virginia anymore because I know that you live there. So I like always want to make fun of West Virginia. But because I know Carl might be lurking around, um, I am I am very respectful of West Virginia now. So, Carl. The people of West Virginia, you're welcome. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. No, real tree is definitely like something that people wear, but it's not like, you know, something you would expect to see in a big city. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Oh, what the hell? Why won't these hide, man? What the fuck? 
This is why I shouldn't be doing this. There you go. <laughs> Listen, our friends over at Crown Legends don't mess around. I, I think the Padres are the winner on this slide for me, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Leon's attitude, I give it an F+. Plus. <laughs> F+. Plus. <laughs> All right, let's move on to Crown I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to see for it's crap. So look, look at this. Leon, put up put up uh, Kevin Northwest Soul's comment. He's trying to bait me. See wh- what's what's in West Virginia is what he, is what I think he's saying. He's trying to get me <laughs> to besmirch <laughs> the good people of West he's Virginia. Trying, yeah, he's trying <laughs> to get me to besmirch the people <laughs> of West Virginia. I see what he's doing. He's trying to pull me in. Yeah, it's not happening, Kevin. Hey, you and you insult one person in West Virginia, you're insulting the entire state because they're all related. <laughs> There, I did it for you. Yeah, Kevin. you <laughs> Kevin's trying to pull me in, you know. Kevin, I'm going to tell you this. I want you to take some time this weekend. I know you, you you could probably squirrel away a couple of hours. I want you to watch the movie Deliverance. Yeah. Deliverance will show you everything that's wrong with West Virginia. That way I don't have to say it out loud. And Carl, I'm sorry. He sucked me in. Don't move on, guys. <laughs> Crown-minded. All right. We got a perverted little friar, and we got a... Uh, that horse oh. thing was interesting. Charlie O, it's a donkey. Oh, donkey. Oh, what yeah. the, oh my god, what the fuck? Why? Because it's a logo that hasn't been used, would be my guess. Oh my god, please. Get, there's away. a reason it hasn't been used. It hasn't uh, been used because no asshole wants that on their hat. Like, look at that. Exactly. Thing. The top the top uh three are done by uh total package. I believe it's like a heavy metal hook. Uh rock. Rock. There Let's not call it heavy metal. Not yet. It's My rock. Fault. My fault. I'm going to tell you right now, if the Oakland A's knew that shit was on the front of that hat, they'd say, take our <laughs> fucking logo off the side. What's the story of Charlie O? I got to look this up. What is that? Charlie O? What are you talking What's about? That oh, oh, the, the horse? Yeah. The donkey? But, like, of all the things that get, like, that get rejected by the gods at New Era, why was this one allowed? I don't, I don't know. know. Oh, he's a mule. Mule. Okay. Donkey, mule, whatever. Where, what's the difference? Only people from West Virginia would know the difference. I think a mule, mule, a mule, a donkey the mule and a pony. is a cross, yeah, cross yeah. between a horse and a, and a donkey. And they can't they can't reproduce after they get they get all messed up. See, this, is what, up this, this is what we were missing on the Vista of the Vault was animal facts. <laughs> right, because remember Leon used to be a resident animal expert? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's been a while since you've been able to flex that muscle. I know right. we haven't had um, any of Charlie O's come up in our uh, speakings. Yeah, you're a donkey and a horse. Leon, donkey. I do want to give you an update. Update. I think you're quick update. I think your attitude's getting better. By the way, all right. <laughs> Let's take a look at where we are with the likes, everybody. So we've got what 160 people in here. We've got 108 likes, so let's hit that like button, everybody, because what happens is when you hit that like button, it draws more viewers into the show, and they pretend to like us as well. Let's move on to Denim Exchange. I'm a hat mule. Yeah, why, don't you tell, why don't you tell the good people of uh, the Views of the Vault audience what you did uh, when you left uh, the good old US of A. Um, let's talk about how many hats that you had to retrieve from my home. And then how you got them? Uh, how you got them safely to your house? Well, I personally transported them to make sure that they arrived okay. Um, and uh, how many yeah, were there, Leon? Probably about three to five hundred, probably. It's a big range. <laughs> it's a big range. How many? How many does Canada think there were? Um, just the receipt that I showed them. He uh, showed a receipt for six hats from the Topper Store <laughs> USA. <laughs> <laughs> and they said to him, they said, whoa, these hats are expensive. And he's like sweating his balls off over the, left and over the trunk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because <laughs> these people, they now knew the value of these of fitted hats, hat. right? Yeah, six right. Hat. They realized they're like 55 bucks a piece. They're like, holy shit, those hats are expensive. So all Leon could think about, right? <laughs> Was the 700 hats in his trunk. Yeah, yeah, the 700 hats in his trunk and the potential three thousand dollars in duties he'd have to pay to get them over the wall. I would have told him to keep them. You would have left them. Yeah. Well, at that point, what are you gonna do? 
there would have been a lot of fucking a lot a lot of fucking helmets running around that customs agent agency. And and you don't want to get flagged because then the next time you go over, if the Canadian authorities come asking me questions, I'm sending them your address. That's fine. I'll, I'll rat you out. I don't mess around. With, I don't rest, mess around with the Mounties. They might be watching right now. I know. It could be. I mean, mm-hmm. stuff we say gets watched all the time. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, I'm sorry, Lena. Yeah. Oh, let's get mm-hmm. back to these hats. Denim exchange. These yeah. reek of uh, what's that real? What's that Arizona AZ Sports? Oh, just sports. Just sports, just sports Arizona. It's a lot of wrist in these pictures. <laughs> Why do we see the whole guy's forearm? Break these <laughs> break up these with like a watch band or a bracelet or something. Yeah, like, yeah. Break it up. So when I do my pictures, right, like the watch breaks up all the forearm, you know? Like if mm-hmm. I do it without the watch, it looks really fucking weird. It looks almost like that's a lot of arm, buddy. <laughs> and my arms are hairier than this guy, so mine like kind of like – this is like a this is like um a, a pre uh, a prepubescent <laughs> sort of sort of uh hair growth on this guy's arm. Let's move on. Ebbets. So they dropped 76 hats. I wasn't all gonna put them on a slide, but no, basically... listen, all this is is they, they gave us game, moved over to Ebbets. Yep. Yeah. So they gave us a team colorways on the left two columns and then two custom colorways on the right. I'm going to tell you guys right now. I have I, – I, I kind of lead an Ebbets group on Facebook, right? Why? They are <laughs> – they are not very happy. They're not happy. I can't imagine they are, no. And I'm not happy looking at that row of – gray pinstriped monstrosities. Do you think they should just stay in their kind of lane to the left? I like the one. I, I actually like all the other ones. No, I no, I like the left side. I don't like the yeah. right side. Like the reproductions, right? Like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they never wore side patches back then, but like you know it's excusable. It's nah, I, I still like the, the look. Well. Yeah. Yeah. I still like the way it looks. But this I don't know man. It's tough. I mean, you talked about it earlier when you said you didn't really like the Negro League stuff, kind of like smutted out and in different colors. I think when uh, For You did it a couple of years ago. I think if you do it tastefully, it's okay. I think when you get too wild with it, it's like, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know, man. Maybe my position will change on that someday, but for right now, um, the ones on the right are, are not good. <laughs> What the hell happened? Yeah. Gray hats look like you have to unlock it to get the color. <laughs> <laughs> things, yeah, the, the, those hats are like the equivalent of black and white TV. Mm. No, I like them. I, they're not American made anymore. Nope. The luster for me for Abbott's has changed. That's just how I feel. Their business model wasn't going to work long term, obviously, but I don't know. I mean, there's something I, I, I just liked the way they looked before. Mm-hmm. And I like the quality of them. Now I feel like they're kind of like, I don't know. I'll leave it at that. Let's move on to ECAP City. All right. So uh, Leon W. Chen, keep two, drop two. I'll keep the uh, Angels, and I'll keep the Yard Goats. I will drop the uh, two Houstons. How about you, Jason Mead? Uh, hmm. I'll keep the Yard Goats. I'm deciding between two. I'm not going to honorable mention it. So I will go with the, uh, the Jackie on top row, and I'm going to drop the San Jose Giants. And that Houston, 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 Houston one. I have no idea why this store loves that San Jose Giants logo so much. Mm-hmm. They've done like 20 San Jose Giants. 
Do you think they think it's San Francisco Giants and just don't know the difference? You may be right, Jason. It is a nice looking logo, but I just don't it like is. this colorway. I like that yard goats a lot. Yeah. Leon, you liking anything besides the two that you picked? There's nothing else you really like here. Um, the Bisons is kind of interesting to me in the fact that like the text is like a gradient. Like yeah. I don't really think we really get to see that that often. So that one kind of catches the eye. I and mean, the Jackies always going to do well, you know. So mm-hmm. I think this is one of their more different kind of drops. They didn't like stick to like those like regular greens and blues that they normally spam. So at least this is kind of feels. Yeah, at they least got a they got bit. a black hat in there for you too, Leon. Yeah, yeah. They're finally using some black in their hats. Yeah. Finally, so. You know, it's different. At least it feels different. Mm-hmm. All right, let's move on to uh, E-Caps Unlimited. Jose, I'm going to have you. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh Jason put that shit in there. I'm probably on the clearance mm-hmm. right here. put that shit in there for giggles. No, that's new, man. That is what new. The what the fuck? fuck Why are the Looney Tunes characters all dressed up like Superman? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's the collab no one asked for. <laughs> yeah. what? DC, DC Looney Tunes. and Looney Tunes. They oh both have didn't ask for that. 100 years of storytelling. Definitely going to buy that. I think, it's, a, that I think it's like a Warner Brothers type thing. And DC and Looney Tunes are both part of that. But like, <laughs> I don't right, know. So you got that, and that upper left, does it get any more boring than that upper left hand hat? That might actually be a program hat. I couldn't tell though because the picture is so bad. Shit, the Knicks lost. So it looks like if the Celtics beat the Sixers, they're playing the Heat again. They're gonna be God playing damn. the Heat again. Nah, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna slap around Jimmy Butler a little bit. All right, I don't even want to say, guys. Do you really want to tear this slide apart? I mean, can we just move on? I mean, they did this themselves. I mean, even the 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 decent looking hat on here, they use a mismatch patch. Like the Yankees uh, one, right? Yeah. yeah. What patch is that? It's uh, the Washington All Star Game, two thousand eighteen. Oh, why, why, man? Why? <laughs> I don't the know. Bryce Harper home run derby. <laughs> we lost Captain. Wow. Yeah. yeah, I remember this too. Yeah. Well, no, <laughs> I don't think I don't think most Superman hats look like this. This is a very <laughs> no. weird. I have a Superman hat. I like the eye of Horus. What is the fuck is the eye of Horus? What is that, Leon? Right, the top right. No, I didn't. I know which one it is on the (laughs) fucking slide. I'm not stupid. Which? What is it? It's 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 got to do with uh, Egyptian stuff. It's Uh, Egyptian hieroglyph. Ancient symbol represents well being, healing, and protection. Protect your wallets from this hat. That's for sure. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Protect your collection from this piece of shit. Yeah, ward off the uh, evil spirits. Oh, but, uh, I wonder. Well, what... <laughs> All right, I, I I don't have anything else nice to say. Let's move on to eight one. <laughs> okay, A little Mother's Day thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a big ass patch though. That is a big ass patch. <laughs> <Yeah, hiding it. laughs> the fucking front logo. Somebody lost the patch in water overnight. Is that the twenty seventeen? That's the trash can. Yeah. yeah. Trash can uh, series. Okay. <laughs> At least gave Mama the, the 2022 or something. Joe R says our dream catcher on hats next. I hope so, Joe R. You never trust anyone with a dream catcher in their breezeway. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking. I won't hang out with no one that's got a that's got a dream catcher in their breezeway because you know those people. They're not. They're unhinged, as I like to say. Let's move on to exclusive fitted. Oh, star, somebody boot Star from the channel. Yeah, Star Star likes to really get in my comments on Instagram and talk shit about. Listen, the he, Lakers are a, he's a Lakers fan, right? Even yeah. if they get by the Warriors, Denver is going to eat them alive. Yeah. Oh yeah, but that dude. walking triple double Jokic is going to make <laughs> that that little brittle piece of paper, uh, AD, oh, look like a joke. 
Mo Kick said he's seen dream catchers in a bathroom. That is that <laughs> fucking weird. Who's sleeping in the washroom? <laughs> Mo Kick, I want to know how fast, yeah, how fast you got out of that fucking house. <laughs> <laughs> if I walk into a bathroom, I'm about to take a piss, and I see a dream catcher, I'm getting the fuck out. Like there is no way. Would you stay there? No. Jose, would you stay there? You got dream. No, you know what? Jose's reaction tells me there's a dream catcher somewhere in that in that dwelling of his. Nope, <laughs> definitely not. But I have dated somebody who did have one in their place. What What are they doing catching your dreams, man? That's just weird uh, shit. I said dated. That was past tense. Didn't work. It's still for that reason. What do you want with other people's dreams? I don't know. It's just, sadistic it's, shit, man. Yeah. Yeah, Joe R has a great point. He has a question for you, Leon. Has there ever been a dream catcher on a clink room hat? I think there, I, has. I bet there has been. I think there, I has, think there been. has been. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm almost positive I remember seeing one. I know that there was for sure one in Monday Morning Crits. It was like a bat. It was like if they did a play with the bat catcher, with the dream catcher. It. I don't think it made it to production though. Mm. All right. Well, enough about dream catchers. Let's move on to exclusive fitting. Why were the drops on Topper Zone, Topper Store USA only in Trinkles? What does that mean? Uh, we're old, so we, we can't do a full stream anymore. <laughs> what does that mean, though, in Trinkles? I think it means like uh, you only drop only like drop three, three hats at a time. We or... only drop three hats. We're just making sure the system works before we uh, give you yeah. guys the full load. I want to give you a round of applause, though, Ty Cobb. This is the first time you commented, and it wasn't about when is there going to be another shopping vlog. <laughs> yeah. 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 But while the- we're on the subject, my friend, there will be a shopping vlog coming soon for uh, uh-huh. Topper Store USA. It's because the, right. the people who are packing the boxes are editing the video. So <sighs> Exclusive fitted. Oh, man. Well, because Roberto Clemente played for the uh, Oakland Athletics, it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> the upper left hat makes a lot of sense. And then I'm almost because... thinking that hat, somebody screwed up in the production of that hat. Like, you think so? Yeah, like they, they picked their color, that color accidentally. If, Instead of black? I'm guessing, they meant, I'm guessing they meant black. And somebody screwed up when they made it. It's possible. Well, he was a fantastic, a fantastic center fielder or right fielder. I'm sorry for the uh, Oakland Athletics. <laughs> like the old gold one below, it's good. I like that. That's one. the that's but that's the my fitted one. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, this one doesn't have the the double patch. I'm guessing. Oh so, no, you're right. It's not the same because the my yeah. fitted one had a metallic blue. Yeah. Thank you, Stark. Yeah, Star, enjoy Good. your uh, go away. Enjoy your labor. Away. Enjoy the loss, Star. Yeah, enjoy oh, the fucking loss. Curry puts oh. up sixty-five on you guys tonight. Yeah, and uh, that that piece of paper mache AD gets broken in half. Sweet close. Is it game six or seven for them? Six. Six. Okay. Yeah. So they have two chances to lose. If they don't listen, if they don't finish out a, th- a series that was three-one, man, they're not going to look too actually, good. Actually, no, it might be game seven. No, it's game six. It is six. Okay. Lakers up, be, right? Lakers up three two. I think it's game six because the red the Celtics game on yeah. Sunday hasn't been decided yet. Like the time, I think they're waiting to see <clears> who wins what. It's three two Lakers right now. But wouldn't the Celtics game be the uh, prime time game though? Like if there were two game sevens, one with the Lakers, one with the one with the Celtics. It should be. I mean, but LeBron, but maybe that's fine. Yeah. Ah, Would well, they push that game to four o'clock if if they wanted the other game? No, it, is, prime time? it is game six. It is game six. Okay. I'm uh, hoping the Celtics are prime time on Sunday. Well, uh, if the Lakers win today, the Celtics will be prime time on Sunday. Okay. Right. And if otherwise, they lose... they'll probably start it at six, and the Lakers will be at night. I just want to be at right. home to watch the goddamn game, man. I, ho- I right. is it weird that I want the Lakers to win now just so I can make sure I can see the game on Sunday? <laughs> no, not that weird. We Go Lakers! The store. Go we Lakers! The I store. also like to see uh, Jokic just beat the shit out of them. Yeah, you're right, Tariq. That's probably true because of the time difference. But the game, yeah, because it'll be on the West Coast. Yeah. Uh, whatever, man. Let's move on to fam.
Okay. Okay. Mismatch patch right off the hop. <clears throat> Which one is that? Angels. Oh, yeah. That's a weird ass hat, man. Is that denim? Is it denim? No. We thought it was brown. It's just a no, no, the brim. It's just a normal navy. No, it's like a blue, navy blue. Yeah. Okay. I got some pins on it. I can't really see what's going on in the pins, though. Nope. That Giants and Toronto hat in the bottom are really hideous. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a white panel Cobra Kai. Except it's got blue in it. Yeah, I don't know. That like that uh, Dodgers hat is rough too. Yeah, the, those two on the bottom are like the <laughs> dream catchers of hats. The uh, the Astros on the top is a uh, Rhino. And Rhino, Rhino. you yeah, mean from Spider Man? No, from the the Hive. Oh, he designed the hat. Yes. Okay. In uh -huh. Japan. I thought you were talking about the hook. No, the hook is a – it's an Amazon pack, so that one is the Anaconda, I want to say. Oh, right, right. Okay. And then you got the parrot on the right. Those are yeah. the only good hats. The top row is the only good hats. Yeah. So we're hooking animals of the Amazon now? Yes. Yeah. Well, these guys did. Wait, yeah. wait, are rhinos in the Amazon? No. No, no, rhino fitted. Rhino the, rhino the man. <laughs> Oh, okay. Animals the from the Amazon. Oh, oh, oh I got it. <laughs> Jose was not clear at all of what he was trying to say. All I heard was rhinos and oh, right. Amazon. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the blue the blue jays at the bottom is also, I believe it's also his. Um Rhino fitted design, the blue jays at the bottom, the Astros word mark. Um, and I'm almost positive the Giants, but I'll double check. Yeah. No, I think well, I would be I, I would be hard pressed to believe somebody else designed the Giants, but that person's different than the one that's that did the <laughs> Toronto. Yeah, yeah. Well, they all got the same pin on them. Too, they right? all got the same pin, so I think so he did like, that pack. Like, yeah. Look at me. These are animals. I like the uh, no. I don't mind the Astros and the LA, but those two on the bottom, that Giants and Toronto, those are terrible hats. Yeah, I'm not big on the LA. I, I'm with you on the Astros. Astros looks okay. I don't know about the LA. I like the LA with that yellow button and the yellow. I like it. I like that hat. I don't know. You're not a fan of primary colors, Leon. No. I maybe it's because you went to primary school. <laughs> That's not nice elementary school education. like the rest of us. <clears throat> All right, let's move on to fresh rags, guys. Oh, Joe R. Uh, Snap claims he's working tonight, but he's probably home watching the Lakers Warriors and right. he's on in the background. <laughs> That's the reality. He says he's filming something, but I, I bet he's uh, watching the Lakers game right now. I like yeah, that. Our comedy. Magic yeah. Our Magic City had a buy one, get one free sale. Lap dance sale? Yeah. A yeah. sale on lap dances? Yeah. Get one, get, buy, a la buy a lap dance, get a free Bud Light? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, people are saying they wish these weren't pink bottoms. Well, it's their it's their take on a Mother's Day hat. So I like these hats, man. Mo Kicks is in a mood today. I love Mo, yeah. but he's in a little mood today. Yeah. Mo Kicks is ornery today. You know? Mm -hmm. Mo, I still love you though, man. Let's move on to hang time, Indy. No, <laughs> no. Pick the wrong real tree. <laughs> uh, like it. it told our rep we want real tree, and the ref's like, "Okay." <laughs> nah, man, these are like really, really bad hats, man. These are really like imagine getting your shipment in and these show up. You're like, "Oh, fuck. what? We we didn't order these. We ordered real tree. That is real tree, guys." Oh, this shit. camo is the West Virginia of camos. <laughs> Carl, Carl, that's for you, buddy. This is the West Virginia of camos. Oh, my God. These are bad. These are bad. Yep, here we go. Here Look go, at this skid mark, mark camo. <laughs> oh, my God. Five get. More like wrong tree. <laughs> I love Carl. 
<laughs> Carl, Carl knows where he's at, man. Carl yeah. knows where he is. He's like, yeah, I'm there. West Virginia Camo is the new name for this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, these are bad. Holy shit, these are bad. These are epically bad. These are like biblical. This is bad of biblical proportions. This is terrible. If you're wearing this, you'll, you're saying uh If you're wearing this, uh, lo- your wife lo- has a dream will be coming. If you're wearing this, your wife has a dream catcher. <laughs> this is a dream catcher of hats. All right, let's let's move on. There's some good stuff here. What was the controversy with the uh, A wax? Okay, so the you know they did the A wax originally uh, a couple mm-hmm. of years ago, right? Mm-hmm. It was it was a black brim and and lettering. Yeah. Um, they dropped this one because this is actually the correct colors. This is the colors that were worn in the movie. And everybody's like, no, man, they did us dirty. They, they brought us a Navy one. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, uh, but they actually corrected it because they had got it wrong. They acknowledged they got it wrong the first time. So they, they, they correct it. And then, these, yeah. and then people are getting it. Uh, this is the real one. This is no, this is the real one. No, we're all fucking idiots. So let's just argue on the internet. Yeah. And that's what they way, picked, up. That's what they picked way, to argue yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. I like the minor league stuff here. It's different. Why is there a COVID pirate? I have no idea. It just seems like they're just re, re, restocking it. Kind of like the AWACS. Maybe just bringing it back. I like that Diamondbacks in the lower left a lot. Yeah, I do too. A lot. I like that hat a lot. Mm-hmm. How are you feeling about the Bakersfield Blaze? I want to like it, but that flip visor in the same color as the front yeah. is just throwing me for a loop. And the button, right? And the button too, yeah. <sighs> I like I like the the orange front, but the flip okay. visor. I'm Take not that a fan sandwich of. brim, right? I, I it's not the sandwich brim; it's the colors they chose for it. Mm. All right, let's do the second slide. Silkies. Leon, I know you love your silk panties, but do you um <laughs> do you like the silk liner on these hats? It, it's not a selling feature to me, but I, you know, with people with different no. types of hair, no. I, I could understand how to be like. to be fair, Leon likes silk. These are satin. Oh, these I'm sorry. Feel satin. different to Leon because he's here's, he's a he's an underwear snob. Here's and, what uh, I don't like about these hats, right? I'm not a fan of this colorway, but I don't mind the satin lining. I just think the satin lining, like the sweatband, should be a different color than the lining. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's just me. Mm-hmm. I just, I don't know. I feel like the satin lining is just unnecessary. Mm-hmm. It feels so good on my bald head, though. Uh, <laughs> all right. Mm-hmm. Like when I, not- it's almost like you ever, you, in the middle of the night, Jason, have you ever like flipped over the pillow for the cool side of the pillow? Oh, yeah. Who doesn't? Yeah, yeah. Listen, when I put this hat on, right, let's say I leave it out, right? Mm-hmm. Nice, like right near the air conditioner. I put that baby on my head. It is it is so comforting and cool, you know? It's almost it's as cool as the other side of the pillow, as Stuart Scott used to say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like a like a built-in do-rag, though. Silky. I didn't say I didn't I don't want I, I, I didn't say that. I said mm-hmm. that I really enjoy this the satiny sort of cool feel of it and mo kicks right yeah, you you probably you might want to size up if you're borderline with these liners because they yeah, do fit a little tighter all right so let's take a look here we have almost 180 people in here now and we have 127 likes let's hit that like button let's try to get to 200 likes before the end of the show everybody come on hit that like button for us let's get to 200 before the end of the show as we move into the third slide of hack club the Sakura Pack. Man, that Yankee's pissing people off. Why? What happened? Bots! 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 Oh, Here we go. It's so crazy you could never guess like what becomes like popular in the hat world. Who mm-hmm. would have thought like yeah. velvet right. <laughs> hats would be like the instant seller? Like I never would have guessed. I would have guessed that. You would have? Yeah, if you show me this slide, that hat's going first. 
in the month of I May? I don't get it, man. Yes, man. People are looking for different. People are looking for different. You're just because you're not, yeah, doesn't mean everyone else isn't. No, I still look for different. This is the thing about even views of all, right? Our fan base and all of us are kind of like snobs. Okay. That's and we true. think we know what everybody likes. No, no, we know what we like. Yeah. And we know what people like us like. Mm-hmm. However, that hat, that New York hat, is proof positive that sometimes we're in an echo chamber. Mm-hmm. That's fair. I mean, to be fair, when John Jay did the Velvet Pack, you liked them. It's I wore like them never... on the first. Yeah. I can go pull them out right now. Yeah. On the first Fitties Award, Fitty Awards, right? I wore one of those velvet hats. I loved them. I thought they were great. They are warm, though. I will say that. You guys are definitely on. Uh, you definitely. Um, you definitely are on to something when you say, hey, listen, wrong time of year. I agree with that. But I'll tell you right now, it's different. Anything stand out to you here, guys? Like, what do you like here, Leon? Obviously not the Yankees hat because you just roasted it. Mm-hmm. No, I'm, I, I didn't roast it. I was just saying like, I never expected Velvet to, to be an instant seller. Um, but I don't, I don't really like it yet. Uh, also, I, I want- remember, like, they probably – maybe they didn't buy a lot of that one. Yeah. Maybe they felt like all of us, like all of us did, and they're like, "Ah, let's go a little lighter on that one." Yeah, I want to like the Toronto one. Um, someone had sent me a close-up pictures of of the one that they showed, and the embroidery looked terrible. So I'm a little bit apprehensive about that one. But it, it's a cool concept. Bang, bang. How do you feel about satin, Leon? How do I feel about satin? Like the satin inners? Satin, like this. Oh. Um, Honestly, I don't care if it's not. I don't. I'm not gonna be offended if you say no. Like, I'm asking you a question. I mean, if if it's done for a reason, I don't. I don't think I mind it. Like the one you have feels like a flag to me. I think it's a cool. It's a cool look. I think it'll sell. I think because people are yeah. just looking for something different. Yeah, but like if it's like a satin liner, I don't think I'd go out of my way to like buy it, or I wouldn't want to pay extra for it. If that makes any sense. Yeah. No, it makes sense. All right, let's move on to hat dreams, guys. They've been on fire lately. Oh, man. What? This Anaheim Angels hat. Woo! That one's nice. It glows too, right? Yeah. I, I, I have that hat here, and it looks great, man. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. aren't they the Los Angeles Angels now? Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Yeah, but right. is that the right logo? I think they use that logo. That's a script logo. That's probably in the past. That's from oh. the past, though. Yeah, I think anything, anytime they reference now, they're just Los Angeles Angels. Yeah, so that's that the only thing I didn't like about the hat is I don't think, like, Otani was actually there when it was – but, again, like, I mean, we're, we're like, dissecting something, right? I, I'm not 100% certain of my accuracy either. Yeah. I really like that Washington in the lower left. I, I know I'm not a flower guy, but I actually really do like that hat. Mm-hmm. That whole pack was like a Mother's Day pack, right? That they did, the bottom ones? Yeah. Yeah, those aren't bad. Yeah, I like. I, I, they did a good job with these. Now, is there is that Mariners the one from the pack, too? I don't... Uh, Mariners is from the Tokyo Knights pack, yeah. Yeah, and the Astros was the other one. That Royals hat is good too, man. That Royals, that Royals hat. I don't know that Washington with a rose. I really like though. Are you looking up the Anaheim thing, Jason? Yeah, I'm trying to see if he would have been there with that jersey. See, I really do like that hat, but I'm pretty sure this is an occasion where someone used a patch that wasn't in the correct era. I mean, it's possible that he he arrived there when that was then, and but now it's not the case. Maybe I don't know. Their name is so annoying. Like they've been they fighting changed, like every three years. But yeah. they're not the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim anymore. They're the Los Angeles Angels. Correct. No, they are the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim right now. 
Oh no, they are. They shortened it again. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah, they they, they keep changing. It. It. Like you can't keep it straight. It's so annoying. <clears throat> uh, either way, let's move on to Hat Dreams. I mean, uh, Hat Heaven. Nice job, Hat Dreams. They got. They, they've been dropping some heat, man. I, I really enjoy their stuff. It's been a while since I looked at a Hat Heaven hat. <laughs> You feeling the spring training stuff? No, I don't. I don't like that. No matter who does it, it doesn't yeah. matter. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't understand why we're rehashing that stuff. The logo in the logo in the logo is weird to me. I wonder what that A hat is. is that Albuquerque? Which one? Maybe Top Arkansas? row? Is it Arkansas? No, no, the third row. Oh, it's a, it's a, no, it's um, a minor league. Um, I'll look it up. A bad looking hat. You got a Seattle Pilots. Just the S. Yes. Mm -hmm. The Tampa, I mean the the Texas Ranger badge is looking like it's flying off the hat. It's no, it's Philadelphia Athletics. Sorry. Oh, okay. All right. And they kind of did it in like ah, so that's a clean looking hat, man. That Cubs hat is interesting too, though, right? With the. Yeah. All right, guys, you ready to move on to a uh, hat stop? Mm -hmm. Let's see how many Mariners hats they have this week. Almost a clean sweep of Mariners hats. <laughs> Almost. I like the upper right. Upper right's clean. Middle's doable. Nah, middle sucks. That's what you're a flip. But I don't like that at all. You like that? It's doable. It's not nothing great. Nothing bottom middle can kiss my ass. ass. Yeah, bottom middle's no good. <clears throat> I don't know if we're still on this, but from what I can tell, Otani has never worn an Anaheim across the front of his jersey. Okay. So Pierre yeah. was right. That's what I thought. <clears throat> I still like the hat, though. I got to be honest with you. I, I like the hat. Yeah. At the, the Jared uh, top left, <laughs> the subway, eat fresh. Yeah. Walk around with the Jared. He's eating fresh, all right. Yikes. Oh. Let's go to Lids uh, HD, fellas. What is this? <laughs> Low uh, it's, HD. It's from uh, uh, Big Face. What is Big Face? It's a brand, coffee brand. Yeah. That they was their drop this week. They lost yeah, big face. I'd yeah. love to see their preview video for this. I don't know if they did one. This oh my god. That's like a clothing brand. Yeah. And they uh, made Jimmy, it available all weekend. Jimmy Butler, uh Jimmy Butler's coffee brand. All right, Jimmy Buckets. I, I mean, I, I really do have a lot of respect for Jimmy Butler, but I have zero respect for this hat. This is a terrible hat. Th this looks like you went into the lids, like your local lids, and said, hey, listen, um, I got some embroidery that my <laughs> I, I got a little logo my son created. Can you just throw it on the hat, please? Are they doing their uh, celebrity collabs now, I guess? They are. Okay. They got the shoe guy last month, last week. Mm -hmm. Everyone's calling that guy all kinds of names. I don't know what the hate is for that guy. I mean, the the hate is not. I don't think it's for that guy. It's for the fact that they collab with that guy, and like, well, there's so many community members that haven't done a collab yet. Well, there's so many community members that don't have five million followers either. So, yeah. like. They were also calling that guy names directly, though. It wasn't just... Oh, <laughs> they were, like, calling him names. They're like, holy shit. Like, what is with their hate for this guy? Right. It comes with it. <clears throat> yep. All right, guys. Let's go to the locker room of Downey. They went all in, man. And they did a collab with um, a local producer who had a pretty good following. That's where that Los Angeles hat comes from, the San Francisco and the Texas. And those, I believe... I Actually, I believe the whole slide. Was a collab. He, he did the Mexico hats too. Yeah, I believe so. Nice. They had a really good, um, a really good showing over there. Um, 
Uh, they they really enjoyed having him there. And um, you know, listen. Oh, he used to talk shit about the hack me before his collab. That 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 would explain all the hate towards him. That's oh, that'll do it. Yep. What was he talking about? I mean, I I don't I don't know. I don't pay a great attention <clears throat> to TikTokers. Look at that clown on the show. And he's like he's like a sneaker guy first, right? So yeah, I only know him because he used to do like TikToks with Mickey. That's all I know him from. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got right. it. Let's go to MILB here. This is like Jason porn right here. You betcha. So the Binghamton uh, Rumble Ponies are doing a rock night. Uh, their new yeah. logo. The fucking, that fucking pony's rocking out, too. <laughs> yeah. I drove past Binghamton to get home. Slamming it. Uh, the Dayton Dragons. Uh, apparently Dayton is also known as Gem City. So they're doing a Gem City logo. Uh, and the Hartford uh, Yard Goats are doing a Hartford Schoolboys uh, throwback logo. And then uh, Joe... Down in Round Rock, getting uh, getting jiggy with his customs. Um, so there's a couple of Round Rock Express customs from Joe's Hat Shop. Okay, mm -hmm. I like the yeah. Hartford. A little bit big on the H, but I like it. Wait, wait, what's the Hartford one again, Jason? I'm sorry, I was reading a comment. The, the Hartford Schoolboys. Is that for the Hartford Yard Goats? Yes. I gotta pick that up. I don't like that side patch. But I'm still gonna pick it up. All right, let's let's move on to my fittings, fellas. Hartford School Boys were I don't know. Uh a, a black professional baseball team from Hartford. So there we go. Got Larry Bird in the upper left. We do. I love the um the parks hats on the bottom. So did a lot of people. I really like those. <clears throat> it looks like a Maple Leaf logo to me. Yeah, like Air Canada. Well, that's on every every city park sign. Is it? Yeah. yeah. That's a good logo. That's really nice. I like the rays on it, too. Mm -hmm. Villanova. Can't, I like these I like these um, college hats he's doing, too. Yeah. <laughs> that, uh... Having Snap figure out that those were NBA hooks was uh, one of our top yeah. ten moments. This was really the the concept that I did with him in football. We just brought the basketball. Mm -hmm. That's one of the last one of the last things I kind of I kind of uh, talked through with him were those hats. Yeah, it just it, it just made it uh, really apparent that he's very selective in his reading. <laughs> he just read Pierre, and then that was it. <laughs> From the yeah, you know, listen, like uh, we talked about, like, how do we because he, he like, listen, what what John Jay likes is he likes to be challenged. So it's almost like it's interesting, like this kind of stuff, like really gets him fired up. Like if you say, hey, man, no one can make a good NBA hat. He's like, all right, let me try, you know, let mm -hmm. me talk about it. And, you know, I think like I think he did. I think he did a really good job with these. I was not part of the design process on these. I was just part of the idea. Mm -hmm. So. This guy is just he did a great job, man. I think they I think they make a lot of sense. And if you're a fan of those specific players and their history, I think they're cool. I think they're cool looking. I think he did a great job. And that Villanova right there is sick. Yeah. Um, Joe R. Uh these these patches are already approved, would be my guess, but John yeah. and his rep are willing to go find them. They're they're buried somewhere and they, they do the work. They go find these things. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, uh, he does fan, dude. That guy does fantastic work. Well respected and for good reason. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to New Era Cap, fellas. They had a lot, right? Oh, what the no, heck? no, I don't mind these. You don't like these, Leon? Uh, they're all satin. I don't yeah. mind black satin. Hmm. <sighs> Some of the colors they use, I think, are questionable. I think they should have like. It threw me off for a second. I thought they were big Velcro at the front at first. <laughs> like um, the Angels one, for example, like wouldn't that look nicer with a red, like the Angels in red? Yeah, it's kind of hidden. Like the Astros is completely different. We've never seen that. Uh, that Astros is mark. cool, man. We haven't seen that word mark used. 
the mm-hmm. Phillies. We haven't really seen that word mark used. I mean, it's interesting. The bony New York uh, the Highlanders is mm-hmm. terrible. It's too big. And I, I don't like my bones big. I don't know. I'm not sold on satin yet. Like the cu- or the way it looks, I would say Cubs, Phillies, and Astros look good. The rest of them are kind of like too much black. Yeah. Like pop. They should use team colors on the uh, on the uh, logos on the front. Yeah, like that Baltimore. We haven't seen that script ever. You're gonna use the Padres even. We just saw that script earlier today. Did we the Baltimore? Yeah, that's the Ooh. same one that we saw on uh. What slide was it? It was uh, I'm trying to remember. Capsule, uh, ca- capsule. yeah, capsule. Mm-hmm. Show someone jump paying attention. Leon, do you mind taking over for Pro Image because you know nothing gets me more excited than uh, yeah, let's do watching it. you present a little bit. Let's do it. We we'll get to see your snaps lines today. All right, eight eight one eight. Um, coming in with some chrome <laughs> hats, three chrome hats. We got the Cubs, the Diamondbacks, and the Dodgers. Are you guys feeling these? Are those optic white or chrome? They're chrome. They're I'm just washed chrome. out with the sun. Yeah. Behind the marble. So this is a Cinco de Mayo pack. Ah. That's why the so green, green and red. red. Okay. Yeah. You can barely and see the colors. It's all overexposed and stuff. It was better than the pictures they had on Pro Image Sports. Huh? I'm, I'm not blaming you. you <clears throat> I'm not blaming you. Um, yeah, these are okay, I guess. These don't really scream Cinco de Mayo to me. I guess L.A. has a huge Mexican population. It's kind of Chicago, too. I don't know about Arizona, but, you know. Arizona's literally right on the border of Mexico. That's true. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I stand corrected. Three very strong <laughs> Mexican communities in these uh, cities. Yes. Probably why they picked them. Yes. Good for them. Good for them. All right, Promage America. <clears throat> I know the I know you don't learn United States geography in, we in don't Canada really. primary school, so, but yeah, Arizona's right on the border of Mexico. Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, we got two hats here. We got a, a San Fran <laughs> and a, and a Florida. Great. We great obviously North. did not you're do like your fucking, pro, pro image homework this week. I don't. I don't. You're, like fucking, you're like fucking. Uh, see, I don't do any homework. I just kind of like just off yeah. the cuff, right? But you're Captain Obvious tonight. You know, got these two hats from Pro Image. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm on autopilot. I just let you go, and then I I, I, I talk when I'm called upon. I guess I'm just used to that. Yeah, um, but yeah. So we got we got a rust and Times brown. I'm changing here on Views the Ball. I'm gonna call on you more often, champ. Yeah, I'm fine with that. So we got a rust and brown uh, Florida Marlins with the 10th anniversary, and then we got a a gray and is that navy black uh, San Fran with the 1962. <laughs> All-Star game. Fun fact, that All-Star game, uh, that year had two uh, All-Stars. All-Star games that year. So that was you one have no years. fucking idea what you're talking about right now. No, dude. The there San Francisco actually... All-Star game. I know, game. I know. You're right about that. The, the other team was who? For 1962, the Red Sox. No, 61. Red Sox. They actually did double All-Star games for like four years. Yeah, so they can get paid more money. Yeah. Build up the pension. That's the one that matches your favorite one, the the Boston one, right? Yeah, you're right. That's how I remember. That's how I remember it. Nice. So, uh, the fun fact for for our viewers, right there. Leon, you're uh, you're you're one for fifteen now. That was just like Jason Tatum's (laughs) first half yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll finish off strong like this quarter. Here here comes another another chance of the bucket. All right, right, Leon's pro image presentation so far. Uh, (laughs) A for effort. (laughs) None of the above because. Yeah, can I get an other? All right, so we got we got a Tide Pod. Um, you remember when people were doing the Tide Pod challenge? Uh, that reminds me of that Bizes right there. Um, we <laughs> that's got a really uh, that's a really interesting <laughs> thing to bring up, Leon. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like we got a uh, Chicago Bulls potentially um, White Sox hat, but maybe maybe not. I don't know. Maybe coincidence. Mm-hmm. And then another Cinco de Mayo uh, hat. Augusta is located in Augusta, Georgia. So I'm assuming that's why they picked the Atlanta Braves right there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What do you guys think of these? Why? What, what was your reasoning? <laughs> that's a Mexican flag on an Atlanta hat. What does that have to do with, like, golf? 
No, no, they're saying this is Primage Augusta, so they're located in Georgia. So that's probably why they use the Braves in that case. For, for, for what? That. For that hat right there. They're, it's they're the local they're tra- team. I'm just saying it's the, local. the locals. Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. okay. Okay. okay, I got it now. Yeah. yeah. The, I, no the, idea. I, I gotta be I gotta be frank with you. I had no idea what the fuck you were talking I about. I had to translate <laughs> to Canadian for Pierre. <laughs> that's me stalling to, to, to show the how how robust my American geography is. Oh right Leon, does that bison not look like the one that uh Snap destroyed when somebody made that fake bison? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That, that you know what's interesting? I love John Jay for – I love and hate John Jay for the bison. Mm-hmm. I love it because he did such a great job with it, and some others did a really good job with it too. I hate him because of this hat. He did the same thing with the Cascading uh, logos. Mm-hmm. When done poorly, it's mm-hmm. – <laughs> it just mm-hmm. – and then uh, the real tree. When yep. done poorly, that, that logo can literally give you a seizure. Yeah. The cascading one. So can eating Tide Pods. So <laughs> I don't recommend that's that. That's a bad that's a bad bison still. That's a real bad bison. It's I've one of the few, worst we've ever seen. I've seen a few worse, but all right, let's move on to Pro Image Caps. Leon, take mm-hmm. us through this. So this is the the animate pack, right? So when rice met potatoes, I don't know why they call them Brubrim's uh, potatoes. Maybe that's the Idaho part. Maybe I don't know. But they did they did a uh, looks like they did a little pack based on anime again. So Ronnie Fitted's and Brubrim's. Which anime? That no young clue. man on the show that we had when I wasn't on a while back was so excited to like blast this Indians hat, which I think is good. It wasn't this one, was it? No, no it wasn't. No, it, wasn't, it, wasn't this it was one. the black and purple one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the Yu Gi Oh one. It was the Yu Gi Oh one that he blasted. Why, though? I don't know. That dude blasted a hat that wasn't even out yet. Right. He says it, it didn't, it didn't uh, live up to his Yu Gi Oh standards. It, it, it didn't capture around. the essence of Yu Gi Oh? Yeah. I don't know. This is <clears> why, <throat> that's why I hate hooks. Yeah. Is this his pack though? Is this the the Ronnie pack, or no? Yeah, this is Ronnie and Blue Rims. Okay, cool. The Yu Gi Oh one was uh, just Ronnie. Okay, at, at Burdines. Oh, okay, all right, got it. Oh, I'm yeah. All, okay, yeah, I'm all mixed up. Ronnie all over the place though. Congrats to him. I seen him at yeah, the, yeah. the Lids HQ the other day, and this is another. Oh, he was, huh? Yeah, yeah. Nice. So, um, all that complaining about the other shoe guy got maybe got Ronnie in the door. Um, but yeah, nice little pack here. You said culture vulture wrong. Hmm. <laughs> I don't want to piss off those legions of uh, five million TikTokers, those little TikToker fans. Um, yeah. All right, good. Let's move on to Promish Colorado. This is the uh, Wizard of Oz pack. Happy did these right. I don't. Um, I didn't see who did. Them. Okay, I, I believe they're 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 uh, hat babes. So, uh, the Tin Man, uh, the Dorth. So the Tin Man is the top left. <clears throat> uh, top right is I think the Dorothy. Why are you skipping Birmingham? I don't. I don't know who the Birmingham is. Um, well, the Lion, Cowardly Lion. Yeah, the Lion is 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 the middle. The S, I'm assuming, is the Scarecrow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice job, Leon. Keep going. Uh, the uh, expos is those Oompa Loompa looking dudes. Um, Come on, numb nuts. What's what's Birmingham? Oompa Loompa. Did you just confuse Willy Wonka and the Wizard of Oz? Those yes. are the flying monkey things, aren't they? Yeah, the monkeys. Oh, then who's the Birmingham then? I don't know who the Birmingham is. This was also uh, Brim Hunters. Yes, we met them. They're attractive looking hats. Oh, they're the munchkins, not the monkey things. Yeah, the munchkins. That's who they are. What's the Birmingham, though? He's he's in here. Hopefully, he'll tell us. This was Brim Hunters and not Hat Babe? Correct. Yeah, I didn't think it was Hat Babe. I think think they're good hats. The only one I don't really like. Birmingham was Batman. Batman. Oh, yeah, I do remember Batman was in the. The closing credits of Wizard of Oz. Was he? Yeah. No. 
<laughs> no. The only hat I don't want. The only hat I don't like on the slide is the Dorothy. The rest of them I like. I want to know how he 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 was able to skirt the <clears throat> one Colorado hat rule. I yeah, think I I think I just missed the Colorado hat. Where where oh. is that? Where's the Lions team from? Oh, uh, that's oh, Omaha Royals. Omaha, okay. He just randomly threw a Batman hand in. That's awesome. Yeah. Right. Wild card. I like no, I like all of them except for the Dorothy. Yeah, there is a Colorado one. I must have missed it somehow. Oh, there is a Colorado one. Oh, yeah. he's here. Shout out to Brim Hunters. He showed up to the Toppers USA. Seriously, um, dude. I was reading his comments of I'm telling you what hats they actually were. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. His his the best hat out of all these hats is the one he was wearing, the friends and family. The mm-hmm. uh, the trash panda sanitation mm-hmm. one. Yeah, I like the cowardly lion here the best. I think. Yeah, yeah. I like the Tin Man, Tin Man, Blue Jay. If I'm I actually going one. Batman. Batman. Mm-hmm. Birmingham like Batman. Batman's. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, yeah. uh, nice job, Brim Hunters. Mm-hmm. Let's move on to Pro Image, Danbury, Poughkeepsie, and Middletown. All right. These two almost look like uh, remakes of the original one. They did like a the Crocs uh, they did with a plain Jane. Yeah, like the Steve Irwin uh, last year. I mean, they brought it back uh, with a two tone. Right. Mm-hmm. And then the uh, Rhino. I don't remember what the Rhino was. If that's new, or Rumble old, City. Rumble City. Mm-hmm. I don't remember them doing that originally. Yeah, I don't think so either. But two very very solid hats. <clears throat> Ruined by that stupid patch. <laughs> the billboard. Yep. People still playing with that patch? That's so uh, I hate that patch. No, it's because Never. They, there's nothing else to use, so they go with I that. Know. But like yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's go to Pro Society. Now listen, I want to bring something up really quick. So and Jason, I'm not putting you on the spot here, but we're gonna I got on a call with Eric from Pro Society, right? He said, Pierre, listen. I I know it's very similar to the hat you guys dropped the same week, but I certainly didn't do that on purpose. I'm really sorry. And he said, can you please ask Hat Crawler to put me back on the crawler because I didn't mean anything by it. And the guy was I, super upset. I haven't taken him off. Oh, he said just, oh, you, you haven't? I was literally at the store ringing people up when the stuff dropped. So, I, I mean, I just didn't have time to post on Saturday. Oh, I didn't oh, post God, anything okay. on Saturday. Oh, no. He was like, he was like, listen, man, can you can you just like apologize on my behalf because – I certainly didn't mean to drop this very similar hat the same day. And I had a great conversation. I like that guy, man. He didn't, you know what he said to me? And it made a lot of sense. He said, we were on a call, right? And this is how we, this is, we sometimes have to give people the benefit of the doubt. I'm not talking about you, Jason. I'm saying in general, we have to. He's like, you know what? I got a hat store. I didn't know much about the hat community when I did it. And I thought it was like a foot locker where like, you know, you can order, <laughs> you can order from the catalog and just fill your store with hats. So mm-hmm. I kind of get where he's coming from. You know, and he, and I thought he was a very, very nice guy. Um, you know, means well. And no sir, fucking excuses, Pierre. Well, no, no I told him. I You're said, letting him off the hook. I said, listen, man, I know Jason could be a handful, but I, I'm he's a reasonable guy as well. So I'm sure I'm sure it's going to be OK. But, um, you know, listen, though, but that made me got me to thinking like some of these folks that get into this, they, they really don't realize sometimes. That was, you know, especially if they're coming from the shoe game. Yeah, the they're coming place. from the shoe yeah. game. Like, you know what? I yeah. thought I could just order, I could just fucking order hats from a catalog. And you know what? He's not wrong because you right. can. <laughs> you can, yeah. That's that's the rule. And a lot of the reps too sometimes they get overwhelmed. And if they it's you just know, if it's easy easier just to be like yeah. pick what you want and yeah. they don't have to spend, you know, four or five hours building the hats. Yeah. So I thought he was a really nice guy. I really enjoyed my conversation with him, but um Nice job of Pro Society. We look forward to spending more time uh, showing off your product. I specifically know you guys are going to like what he has coming next. I, I got, to, got to take a look at it um, on this uh, on this video um, call that we were on. Now let's move on to Renarts out in Queens. Renarts. The only thing here, and Jason, I, I have to. No, they, they don't. They're, they have the good buttons. They do. Yep. These are solid looking hats, man. Yep. 
These I, are uh, Ninja Turtle inspired. I don't know if that. I don't care what too. they're inspired by. <laughs> yeah. they look good. You know what? You know what? When you when you guys tell me the hooks, it almost ruins the hat for me. <laughs> you want to know the worst Ninja Turtle hats I've ever seen in my life? They came from Hat Club, right? The ones that. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like those hats, but you know. Fucking Leon, um, man, I got a fucking <clears throat> fantastic idea. Before and it, the... sent, it sent it sent um Hat Club minor league program into. <laughs> yep, they just stopped it after that. <laughs> after, <laughs> Leon, do you realize after you did those hats, so then they didn't release another minor league hat for a year and a half? <laughs> yeah. This so is, like fucking um, Leon, we used all of our we used all of our allocation on Leon. <laughs> now we're sitting here, sitting on. I bet they still have some at the warehouse. That broke their like never going on clearance sale. They had nothing <laughs> going on clearance like two years straight. There was like no clearance <laughs> anywhere in the hat world, right? Yeah. And then Leon said, "Hold my beer." <laughs> I like those hats. I stand by them. But uh, but the, it the, was the, actually the... a really Leon. It was actually a really smart hook. But but no one's yeah. wearing those hats. No one's wearing. I've never even worn those hats. I, it's just a collector's item. That's all. Yeah. But uh, but th this one I think the left one is based on the last Ronin. So for Ninja Turtle aficionados, um, three of them end up me. dying. One of them survives. So that's a cool new, well, new little. Leon, may I ask, how does it feel to be the man that like amidst the biggest hype around fitted hats <laughs> in the history of hats? Right. Mm -hmm. You you were able to create four bona fide, undeniable clearance hats when no one else could. Not even <laughs> Ecaps Unlimited. Not even ECAPS Unlimited could, do, could yeah. of all the gems you've made over the years, right? You yeah. made some great hats, right? Yes, mm. great, fantastic hats. How does it feel though, like honestly, to know that when no hat can stay on the shelves, you found a way to create four bona fide 100 percent clearance bombs? How did that feel? You miss uh 100% of the shots you don't take. So there you go. sometimes you go for it. And you definitely miss those. That's for sure. <laughs> One memory. <laughs> when I that's saw them, cool. I was like, yeah, these are turtle. These are Ninja Turtle hats, right? But like. Yeah. Or oh, they were definitely great hooks. For the, sure. Great this hooks. is how far the hat game has gone. Back then, that was a hook. Now, yeah. this is what an Ninja Turtle hook looks like. The game's evolved. The game's changing. Yep. The, so Brooklyn Boy. Yeah, I think you're responsible for that, too. For what? I think that that those four caps that you created mm -hmm. sent the hook world into a spiral as well. Into a frenzy? Into a frenzy. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so now he's going to end up taking credit for this. I don't so take credit for wait, nothing. Wait, listen, Leon, are, you okay if I, are you okay if I just if we just double click on this for one more second? Let's say those hats were at my house, right? You head to the border. They say, all right, Mr. Chen, pop the trunk. Mm. I would, if I were you, strategically place those across the top and say I made those because I think what they would do is close the trunk and say, you're okay, you can keep no, going. They would close the border to him. We don't, yeah. we don't need this kind of talent in our country. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm just playing, Leon. Of no, all the gems you... Of all the gems you made, though, Leon, that's probably the most catastrophic moment of your <laughs> uh, hat creating career. <laughs> Let's move on to sneaker politics, guys. It was a great hook, though, Leon. I do Thank admit. You. It's a good hat, man. Timber Rattlers. Mm -hmm. It's like Charlotte yeah. Hornets huh? colors. It's like the hat. Yes. The hat. The Teal and purple Hornets. Charlotte Hornets. Yep. Interesting, right? That's it. Do you like that logo, guys? I do. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move on to Sneaker Town. I haven't, I haven't liked their stuff lately. I mean, I there's nothing bad here. The Astros is pretty bad. The middle one, you can make out what it says. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Right? I, the one yeah. in the middle on the bottom, sorry. Right. And I don't like that pregnant cub at all. Sure. I don't know. The, the Diamondbacks, the colors are just a bit too off. I mean, yeah. too close together. I don't know. Something's just off about it. 
you love sneaky two tones too. So I do. One, I think one's... those two blues kind of clash though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When Leon tilts his head like that, he's like, I see another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle hook here. <laughs> Maybe the, Texas, the Texas is the closest to the Texas Ninja is Turtles. good. That Texas hat is good, though. Yeah. All right, let's move on to Soul Fresh, guys. What the? No, sick with it records, man. Oh, okay. Relax. You like a good hip hop hat, mm-hmm. Leon? I just couldn't see it. I think my vision's getting worse. So I have to like squint in time. The logo's small. All right. Let's move on to Sports World 165. That's, that's got to be a program hat, that, that All Star game hat, right? I'm I, guessing. I think I saw their uh, their team store was selling something like that, but it's rough. You have I to just, really like Seattle I, wear that thing. Yeah, I had to fill out the page with something. So, <laughs> hmm. I usually don't mind mascot hats, but something about that Mets hat is rough. They changed it all to like orange. And it's stuff. not something about it. It's all of it. <laughs> the only thing I got right is the the blue and the orange. Okay, let's move on to stash twelve fifty. That's a good hat, man. That's a good one. I do like this one. It reminds me of the Anthem one a little bit. I know it's different mm, and whatever. Sure. Kind of the candy apple vibe. Yeah. I like this one better, though, I think. Just because of the... I like that the, Metallic the, Expos logo. Yeah. The yeah. white brim, too. Scares me on the Anthem one. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's move on to Still. Nice job, Ty. Nice job, Stash 1250. So the real trees are all uh, restocks, I believe. Were they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. These are popular. They, they love, the people love these. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like the middle yeah. row too, man. Solid. The, bir- the bird's are- sitting happy in that nest, though. That's for sure. <laughs> and the uh, the middle ones, I think, cord brim, cord brim, pink bottom, like purple soda ish. Mm-hmm. I got the blue jay one. I haven't had a chance to wear it. Which of those real trees do you guys like the best? I like the muscle bird. I'm going with the Mets. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I like uh yeah, I like the muscle. I've been bird. hanging out with Pat too much this week. That's my problem. Fucking his Mets yeah. mojo is rubbing off on me. Hmm. All right, let's move on to Topper Store. Page one. And just so everyone knows, like we don't say them for last for any other reason other than alphabetical order. Yes, they were just it's purely alphabetical order, kids. Yeah. I mean, so what you guys are starting to see is you're starting to see some crossover, some stuff that's in the US mm-hmm. and in Europe, like the 45s, the Montreal, that real tree brimmed um Houston Astros. Mm-hmm. There's some good stuff here though, man. I would that floor, I like that Florida had a lot, and I like the Mudville nine. That Gucci uh, styled uh, Serpientes is really good. Mm-hmm. Shh, don't say Gucci. Don't do that, Leon. No, it's not hooked to Gucci. It just reminds me of Gucci. Don't say that. Right. <laughs> Here you go. Let's see the second slide. That little Smets. Mm-hmm. Leon, what do you think about the uh, Toronto's on the bottom? I like them. Um, I like the one on the left a little bit more. I feel like the one on the right, the side patch had a little bit too much white and silver in it. It didn't have enough pop. But they're both solid. I do prefer the left one, though. I like that Giants hat. Mm -hmm. Giants are solid. The Diamond Jacks one is solid. Yeah. Low Smets, that one did really well in the store, too. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, people, everyone that there's like a few sizes left in the store, mm-hmm. and everybody wants this hat, man. Yeah, everybody right. wants that hat. It's no one really uses that logo that much, right? The front logo, you don't really see it that no. often. And it's, it's kind of done in the New York Giants colorway, too, almost with the gold. It's cool. Yeah, let's finish up with Topper Store USA, everybody. Uh, 
Mojo. Bottom right is West Tennessee Diamond Jacks. Mm-hmm. Where? What the hell is that noise? Oh, that, is there like a car driving by over there? Uh-huh. We have a we have a bike issue here in New York. Uh, all those uh, motorbikes and dirt bikes. You guys have a noise oh, yeah. issue. Period in New York. It's so loud in that city. Yeah. So listen. Ah, uh, you know, good news. We will. We can't, breaking news here. The Guardians is going to be online at some point. So, boom. Um, mm-hmm. We did not order enough Guardians, mm-hmm. and now um, the Guardians will be uh, will be online coming soon uh, when they arrive. Um, but yeah, no, I think like we had too many pictures to put up there. But we do want to thank everyone. I think we wanted to end with this, right? Uh, we wanted to thank everyone for the support. Um, what a fantastic opening. Um, the energy was was fantastic. Um, I don't know, man. It was the most fun I've ever I've I've had in the hat world in many years, and it was just amazing. Um, you know, I had Leon there, Snap was there, you know, Jason, Pat. We had Mexi show up. We had everybody there, man. Kyle was there. My son was like, I don't know what got into my son, but that kid was a machine too. Like my son was just, it was just. Uh, you guys have to admit, my son was a fucking machine. Yep. That kid, I had to get him to calm down every now and then. He's yelling at people. <laughs> but you can have this. You can have this. My son was really reading them their rights. Yeah. But uh, in general, what we want to do is just really thank everyone. And this is just the beginning, guys. This is just the beginning. There's so much more to come. Uh, the e-commerce side of things, the online side of things are happening. And I want to put this out there while we have quite a few people here. Um, we're not going to answer when you say, is this one coming online? Is that one coming online? Is this one going here? Is that we're not answering those questions because honestly, we don't fucking know, man. Like we're just like, we're figuring this out as we go. And we like the spontaneity of it. Meaning we don't want to be too regimented and too specific in what we're going to do with everything. We want to really, um, we want to really make sure that, uh, that people are excited and kind of, and, and surprised at what happens when and where. Um, so we just wanted to take this time to thank everybody. And with that, let's wrap this baby up. All right. Uh, thanks for watching the show, guys. Make sure you guys are dropping a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, views from the vault.com to get your official merch from us. For Jose, Jason, Leon, and Pierre, we're signing out, guys. Episode 150. We out. See you, everybody. Peace.